So in this video, we're going to look at how to tie our strings. The way I prefer to do it is just like this, around my pinky um, ring finger and middle finger here. So how I would start um, tying my stick is to take, well, first of all, if we look at how it's tied up to my actual stick, if we look here, we have a looped string, just like this, any piece of string. It'll take quite a while to get used to the different length or the length you prefer that fits your hands better so that doesn't keep sliding off or it's too tight and then you have it sort of choking up a little bit. So just a string like this, this is actually paracord, but you can use shoelaces. I've used both, I, pre I prefer the paracord uh, after quite a few years of using it. And then you just have a knot on the end here, just like this. What you would do is take your stick, put a, uh, the string over it just like this, actually I have to put it this way, and then pull the knot through the loop there, just like this, and then it's looped around there, and then it won't it won't slip off that easily. Um, so how I take it from here, tying it, since this is already fitted to my hand, I won't show that because you have to get used with your own strings, with your own sticks, flourishing and whatnot. So I would start by Take my pinky finger and putting it through the loop just like this and pulling it tight just so you can so you can see there then what i would do here i would have my hand open so you can see twist my stick bring it upwards and put my uh, ring finger through okay and then i'm going to repeat the exact same thing twist it only once once more that little loop there and i'm going to take my middle finger now and put that through the loop as well. So I have all three fingers covered up. I'll show you one more time. So I got my other hand. So again, with the string, with the knot on the end, start with my pinky here. I take my two fingers and I twist just like that, just once around. Then I would take my ring finger and put it through, twist it once more, sort of like a figure eight, <laughs> and then take my middle finger here and put that through the last loop there. And what you would do from here, so if we're like this, your stick is on the inside, what you want to do is take it between your middle and your pointer finger, or sorry, <laughs> um, it would be like this once you had it tied on like this. You'd take it through your middle finger and your pointer finger, and you want it to rest just like this on top of your pointer finger. It's a little confusing there, showing. Um, and so it should go over top of your knuckles here almost, even though, um, yeah, and then you would grab it with with the, your pointer finger here, sort of grasp it with like a C shape kind of, and with your thumb, take the little bead on the end and hold